Welcome preschool families. It's Gisa from Butterfly Garden Preschool and today I have another story to share with you. It's called Mommy's Kimar. Have you ever heard of that word Kimar? By looking at the picture can you tell what the story might be about? Well let's find out. The story is written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. A kimar is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kimars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue, and red. Stripes, patterns, and polka dots too. Some have tassels, some have beads, some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color, yellow. When I put on Mommy's Kimar, I become a queen with a golden train. Under the Kimar, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover the many plates Mommy puts in my hair. When I wear Mommy's Kimar, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that Mommy doesn't see me. When I wear Mommy's Kimar, I am a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. When I wear Mommy's Kimar, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. When I wear Mommy's Kimar, Mommy is with me, even when she's away. I close my eyes, and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in Mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. When I wear Mommy's Kimar and Mom Mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out, Sweet Jesus, and calls me sunshine. Mom Mom doesn't wear a Kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like Mommy and Daddy do. We are a family, and we love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing Mommy's Kimar, the older women coo, Assalamu Alaikum, little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kimar. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kimar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off, it's time for sleep. She removes the kimar from her head and I remove mine. We hang them up for the night. I look around at all the kimars too many to count. I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. I close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's kimar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them in there too. A crown with a train, the sun and a shooting star, a baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with a cinnamon sweet, and the prayers of gray-haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. Though mommy is away, it feels like she comes too. And that's the end of our story. It's so fun to take a look inside other people's families and to see where they go to church, the clothes that they wear, the foods that they eat, and the smells that are in their homes. I just love learning about new cultures, and I love hearing stories from others and from my friends about their culture and their traditions at home. If you'd like to share your tradition with me, you can email me or text me or find us on Instagram. I'd love to know more about your traditions. 